always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Take a look. Can you tell what it is? It's you. That's right. I painted a self-portrait. Wow. It looks just like you. Thank you. Did you mix the pink yourself? Yes. Want to see how? Yes, please. Okay. First, start with some white. <laughs> then get a little bit of red and mix it in. <laughs> Look, it's turning pink. Yeah, you mix white and red and made pink. What are you going to call your color? Hmm. I know. I'm going to call it Pig Pink. <laughs> That's a great name. Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, I made pink. Can we make that the color of the day? Hedgehog, that's a great idea. Presenting Pink. Crunching leaves, but only pink leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Which poodle is pink? There it is! Pink poodle. Which dress is pink? There it is! Pink dress. Which umbrella is pink? There it is! Pink umbrella! 
Which yarn is pink? There it is! Pink yarn. Sensational! colors like the color pink pink is here and there i see it everywhere pink is all around in the sky and on the ground It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Small Bird's Big Adventure. Small Bird lives with a giant. See if you can guess who the giant really is. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's begin. Small Bird's Big Adventure Written by Nick Mulgrew Illustrated by Wesley Van Eden Designed by Jennifer Jacobs Small Bird was a small bird. He was very small and very birdy. Small Bird lived in a beautiful house with the giant. Small Bird loved the giant very much. She was a kind giant. She gave Small Bird lots of toys. Small Bird was sad when the giant wasn't around, so one day Small Bird went to find the giant. Small Bird flew up and up until he could see the whole world. He wanted to find the giant. Where would he land? Small Bird landed in a huge forest filled with trees and flowers and treasure. Small Bird loved playing with the shiny jewels. But where was the giant? Small Bird walked into a vast field of snow. The snow was white and soft. Small Bird loved rolling around on the cool ground. But where was the giant? This time, Small Bird flew even higher into the sky. He flew among the stars and galaxies. He saw the moon. He saw a comet. But where was the giant? From way up high, with his sharp, birdie eyes, Small Bird saw something. What could it be? Small Bird dived down, down, down. Where would he land? Small Bird landed right in the giant's hands. He was so happy to see her. I love you, giant, he shrieked. The giant held Small Bird close to her. I love you too, the giant said. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. I'm going to teach you a song called hush a Baby. And look what I have in my backpack. An electric bass. 
I'll sing the song first, then you sing along with me. Okay, let's begin. Hush a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. Now this time, we'll all sing together, OK? OK! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! hush a baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come, baby, cradle and all. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again! Hey, everybody! Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game! Yay! I want to hear you, too! Let's all play the alphabet game When I show you a letter, say its name Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? K! What's this letter? V! What's this letter? W! What's this letter? Y! Now let's do it fast! W! Everybody. That's how you play the alphabet game When you see a letter You say its name! Woo! The letter B! Watch it flutter! <gasps> Hello, little butterfly! Now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them.
them alone and they'll come home bringing their tales behind them lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them leave them alone and they'll come home bringing their tales behind them